Today we are trying Strawberry Leopard in Teal the Show, so please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Woodshed Theory. Here, I make content about what it's like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button. Ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos several times a week, so click the like and the share. If you're new to my channel, then you may not know that I have tried many different green and teal hair colors, and I'm always looking to try a new one so I can tell you uh, what it's like and how it goes, and I can see if I can find the best one for me. My recent color is Sea Witch from Lime Crime, their hair dye, and it has stayed in really well. You can see I don't have a ton of bleached ends left, and I made sure my hair was dirty for this, but it even stayed in the dark brown really well, so I, I was really impressed with that, and it didn't bleed a lot, so I'm interested to see what happens when we try this. I've never used it before. The girls at Sally said it was newer and that it had a Neurobond technology. Nuri? Neurobond technology helps repair and rejuvenate the condition of hair. Vegan, cruelty-free, gluten-free, semi-permanent, lasts up to eight weeks. This big bottle that is eight fluid ounces costs $16.49. I also bought processing caps because I was out of them, $1.19. And just as a follow-up to last time, this is the Ion Color Defense After Color Sealer, $3.29. Uh, in total with tax, it was $23.12. I actually thought that this worked, so I'm gonna use it again. Basically, it helps the color not to wash out as quickly. So I felt that it did my hair justice last time, so I thought we would try it again. Ooh, shea butter for moisture, provitamin B5 and mango oil. Please smell good. No ammonia, no peroxide, no ethyl alcohol, no PPD, PPP, PPPD, PPD. Ooh, this is very teal. Ooh, okay, I wasn't expecting this. Um, this one kind of reminds me of mm, it has a similar vibe to Lunar Tides, uh, but not as watermelony. Let's see how it comes out. Oh boy, so it's, it's really teal. <laughs> okay, ta-da! All right, I've got my hair all separated and clipped up. Normally I tell you that I have put coconut oil around my hairline and on my ears and on my neck. And why do I do that? It helps with the staining. It's easier to wipe away uh, the staining if I accidentally get some on myself. But I didn't have coconut oil, so if I'm looking a little weird, it's because I'm covered in olive oil. I don't know if it's gonna work the same, but we can try. I will say about this color, guys. Again, it's called Teal the Show. It just looks straight up blue, and I'm a little nervous about that because I like my hair green. And I'm also worried because I don't think it's going to cover the brown. That is my prediction, but maybe it will surprise me. As usual, I'm going to take a brush. You could get these anywhere, Sally's, whatever, Amazon. Uh, and I'm going to do the perimeter of my head with the brush. This kind of gives it a barrier, I find, and helps me not make as much of a mess. Yeah, I'm definitely smelling something. I'm trying to decide what it is. Okay, here we go. Guys, this is going to be blue. It's not really what I wanted, but that's okay. What if it comes out beautiful? It's all for science. I don't think it looks as dark as some of the other brands, like as pigmented. Maybe it's too soon to tell that, but maybe it'll surprise me. My hair is supposed to really like it, so. 
Yeah, it's pretty light, guys. I don't know if it's gonna work. Now I'm really bummed out. I was just gonna get the Lime Crime one again, but they have a few that we haven't tried yet. And ever the completionist, you know? Oh, I kept thinking I'm getting a uh, dye on myself. This is from a sleepover I went to over the weekend and we gave each other glow-in-the-dark tattoos. That's what's left of it. And I'm just gonna wash it off in the shower when I wash out my hair. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. I mean, you could see the color, right? It's definitely teal, but will it dye the brown? I don't, I don't know. So as usual, I'm gonna dye from the back to the front. That way I know that I'm just laying it down over my hair and I'm not making a big mess. I'm gonna be really bummed if this doesn't work out, guys. And I mean, it's not the hair company's fault. I just thought maybe it would be more pigmented than this. I mean, it's covering something. Next. It doesn't take too long to do this, especially if it's all gonna be one color anyway, right? And I believe there should be two uses in this bottle for me because it's the eight ounce bottle. The coverage is good. I will say that. It's like spreading easily. It's the pigmentation that I'm worried about. I mean, so my hands are straight up blue. I mean, they're blue gloves, but you can't really see the dye on it that well because it's a similar color. So that worries me. I thought teal, teal green, but this is a teal blue. Okay, well, we'll see how it comes out. Maybe you'll love it. I don't know having doubts, but maybe it's going to come back and blow me away. I can be positive. Like I'm kind of positive it's not going to do anything to the brown. Maybe it'll at least cover my gray. Okay, one more section. I will say so far, um, the mess is not so bad. I don't know if that's the most important thing to me, you know? We'll see. We'll see. But who knows, right? Like I could wash it off and I could be like, wow, this is my new go-to. Especially like doing this with my brown hair because um, a lot of people in the comments uh, mentioned that they also have brown hair and they wanna see what colors will look like on top of it. Get it in there. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is looking blue. This is looking green. I will have like a Captain Planet moment going on here. I mean, we'll see. Yeah, see like when I touch it, see how it's a little transparent. And then I wipe it off and there is some blue on my hands, but it's like transparent. That makes me feel like it's not gonna work. However, it is easy to take off. Like any place I've got it on me, it seems like I'm gonna be able to go and wash it while I wait off of my neck and stuff. Let me see how long I'm supposed to leave it. 20 to 30 minutes room temperature. I think I'll probably leave it in for like 40 to an hour because I have dark hair, maybe that'll help. And I've never used strawberry leopard before, so hopefully it just surprises me, right? And then I'm also gonna use this color mask, After Color Sealer by Ion, and we'll see how the hair works out, okay? Quick disclosure, I've actually had this on my head for about an hour and a half. I got really into working on my drop for the weekend, so I lost track of time, so I'll go ahead and wash it out now after an hour and a half. You know what? We are back and I like it. I have thoughts. This is very strange for me. So as far as how the color took, uh, as suspected, it didn't cover the, it's not all the same color on the ends. So this is more porous right down here. That's the uh, more bleached hair. And that is very teal. And then midway is more like a greeny teal. The part that was brown 
is similar to other results I've gotten. So it's kind of got a bluish greeny tint to it. It did cover the gray. You can see it kind of highlighted in there. So that kind of looks nice. I'm not super in love with the fact that I feel like these are different colors, but overall it did a good job. And it's not their fault. Like I can't blame this company, Strawberry Leopard. Um, I can't blame them for the fact that I already had dye in my hair. You know, the, the idea is to see what it look, looks like on different kinds, different stages of hair. Um, but yeah, when you, when I get back like this, I feel like the full effect is definitely there. Like the teal effect is there, right? Now let's go over my thoughts. I thought that this wasn't going to work at all because it didn't go on very pig pigmented and look at my hands. Like I know I wore gloves, um, but normally I still get dye on my hands some point throughout the process and I still have like dyed fingers. I barely have any dye on my hands. Now where I left the dye, it did dye my skin, but in general, very little dyeing of the skin. So that I was impressed with. Does my hair feel softer and healthier? I think so. It's got some bonding agent in it. Helps repair and rejuvenate the condition of your hair. Um, I don't know if it feels any different than other dyes I've used that are like super conditioning. As I mentioned when I was putting the dye on, I noticed that the dye itself, the color itself was a little transparent or more transparent than I'm used to seeing in a dye. It almost was like they put a little conditioner in it. So it, it kind of had that consistency and that color where you could see that maybe there was a treatment in it and then washing it out, bizarre. So I have never used something like this because barely any color came out of my hair when I was washing it out. And I know that I used the Ion uh, Color Stay, but this was different. This is a different level. Like it, it was almost like the color saturated into my hair and only the, what remained left my head. So there was a little bit of dye. It was a little bit teal in the water but nothing like I am used to with other hair dyes. So that was totally different. I was washing it out, it was almost like I was pulling through like conditioner. It wasn't like a normal washout. And the conditioner was not as teal, like the teal must have sucked into the hair and I washed the rest of it out. I just wanted to say that because I have never experienced that before. Um, when I rinsed everything out, including the treatment in the shower, there was barely anything in there. Um, yeah, so there's like a lot of things that I am impressed with, uh, with Strawberry Leopard. Again, I've never, I don't know them. I don't, I bought it. I wanna try all the greens. <laughs> the color in general is pretty, especially like when I'm back here, I feel like that looks really nice. It's super shiny. My hair feels good. It's just different than I thought it would be. I've never tried a product like this. It has the consistency of, and like coloring of a conditioner with color in it. The dye isn't responsible for there being different colors, obviously. It doesn't claim to be a full coverage dye. It was dyeing over what, what we were working with. Um, I think this down here is more of a reflection of the actual color itself, uh, covered the grays. So yeah, I'm, I'm surprised. Is it my favorite I've ever done? I don't, I don't know that it is. However, I would, I would purchase the brand again, especially if it stays. We'll see how it stays over the next few weeks. If it does stay, I might be completely swayed 
to repurchase because it didn't get everywhere except I got some on the dresser and it's a big spot and I didn't realize it and now it died the dresser. Strawberry Leopard Teal the Show semi-permanent conditioning hair color. I, I would say give it a go if you want to try it out. I thought it might be good too for um, younger, like if you your kids want to dye their hair color, it's not going to get all over the place as much as um, other dyes I've tried. So this might be a good choice for that. All right, everyone, that's it. That's my new hair color. I'm trying to show you. You can see kind of where the grays are. You can see down at the bottom, it's very shiny. It looks pretty and healthy. That'll be it for today. Let me know what you think in the comments and let me know if you've tried this before and what your thoughts are. Do, do you find it different than other things you've tried? I'd love to know. Have a great day and I'll see you next time.